Once a nomadic people, the Tauren roamed the endless plains of the Barrens, hunting the mighty Kodo. Scattered across the land, the wandering tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy, the marauding centaur. Seeking aid against the centaur, the great chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof befriended the savage orcs who had recently journeyed to Kalimdor. With the orcs' help, Cairn and his tribe were able to drive back the centaur and claim the grasslands of Mulgore for their own. Upon the windswept mesa of Thunder Bluff, Cairn built a refuge for his people. Over time, the scattered tribes united under a single banner. Though the noble Tauren are peaceful in nature, the rites of the Great Hunt are venerated as the heart of their spiritual culture. As a tribesman of Mulgore, you must test your skills in the wild and prove yourself in the Great Hunt. Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic. Thank you for clicking on the video. This is going to be the beginning of our Tauren Warrior leveling campaign through the Burning Crusade. Really looking forward to this one. The Warrior is the first class that I ever leveled up in World of Warcraft and actually got to max level on. So yeah, it was a Tauren Warrior and we're going to recreate that experience and see what kinds of adventures we can have. We're going to be doing a lot of tanking. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, firstly, thank you so much for clicking and for being here. I tend to go for just having a relaxing, immersive time exploring Azeroth. I read most of the more interesting quests, fully explore the areas. The only add-on that we use is Questy, and the reason I use Questy is so that we can find those out-of-the-way quests that sometimes you miss. Maybe you've gone years and years of playing and you've never seen it. At least that's been my experience with Questy, and that's why I use it. We're going to be doing a lot of tanking on the Warrior as we level up, so we'll also be using Recount in Dungeons just to give us some information about our performance and things like that. But as far as add-ons, that's it. The rest of it is just going to be the basic vanilla experience. I'm going to change a few settings here really quick before we get going. Let's go into Interface. Auto Loot is on. I think that's the first time I've ever checked my auto loot and had it be already selected. Action bars, we gotta get those going. Usually I will unlock this, shrink it out of the way. And for now I'm gonna keep the combat log up. I tend to try to avoid having a lot of scroll in here as it can be pretty distracting from a viewer's point of view. And lastly, let's go ahead and move our unit frames. I like to put these down here somewhere that I can more easily see them. Ah, uh, like so. Let's lock those bad boys back into place so we don't accidentally drag one across the screen during combat or something. And yeah, we are good to go. Greetings. The hunt begins. You have a promising air about you and will prove yourself to the tribe. Perhaps someday soon you will be welcomed into the great city of Thunderbluff. But before that can happen, you must prove yourself to my father, Chief Hawkwind. Up here on the Red Cloud Mesa, we pride ourselves on keen hunting skills. Torn hunt out of necessity and for sport. Our supply of meats has run low and we require feathers for clothing. Hunt the nearby plane striders and prove yourself by resupplying the village. Farewell. I'd assume they'd want, like, leather for clothing and, you know, you're not necessarily making clothing out of feathers? But, okay, we'll roll with it. And the chief has something for us Greetings. as well. A humble task. All members of the tribe share in the harmony of life. We live together and work together. Our commitment to one another carries with it a high degree of responsibility. I ask of you now a humble task. My mother set out this morning to fetch water from the well to the southeast. It has been quite some time now. Perhaps you could check on her for me while I attend to tribal matters here. We shall meet. All right, some pretty basic stuff, but uh, we are just a basic adventure at this point, so it makes sense. Just helping out the village. Uh, let's see. We are just gonna head yeah, head south here, take on some plain striders. All the way back in 2004, this was the first zone that I ever logged into in World of Warcraft. Always brings back a lot of memories. Yeah. 
So we have our auto attack. We have heroic strike, a strong attack that increases melee damage by 11 and causes a high amount of threats. And then we get our racial ability war stomp. And that's going to be an interrupt. I'm going to check out some sound settings here. That seems a little bit loud. Let's go with something more like that. And you guys let me know about the sound settings. I do want to go more for like immersion and have just a relaxing experience. So I do want the sound, the music, and the ambience to be up. And kind of be in the forefront. So let me know if the settings are good or if anything needs to be adjusted. Yeah, I've been kind of planning this playthrough uh, in my mind for what feels like a long time now. So I'm pretty excited to get going. And the big inspiration for this one is just that I want to tank dungeons, I want to run dungeons. And it's hard to do, not because there's not a lot of people playing the game, there are tons of people always looking for group. But the one thing that groups need almost exclusively, is a tank. Um, so many groups just left floundering looking for a tank. When I put together groups on my Rogue, it takes us about an hour to get a full group together. We usually get three DPS right away, and then the rest of the hour is spent looking for a tank and a healer. So I really want to get back into tanking. Really want to do it in Burning Crusade for progression and maybe looking at a class that we can take into Wrath of the Lich King. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get this character going. It's funny that it's a rainy day here. I don't know if I've ever seen it rain in Mulgore. It's usually just bright and sunny. It looks like a pleasant spring rain though, so I hope it's a good omen for us. Yeah, it doesn't look like a cold rain or a driving rain. It just looks like a, sp a pleasant spring sprinkle. Got a few people leveling here this morning. It's not bad for the Torrin starting area, you know, on a Friday morning at 9. It's not, it's a decent number of people. Alright, we still need some meat. Take on a few more of these guys, and then the chief's mother is right down here by the well. As far as professions go on this character, I'm always really tempted just to take alchemy and herbalism. Because it's super useful as a warrior to be able to make your own healing pots. And just have a bunch of healing pots on hand at all times. So we might do that. I really don't know what else I'd be interested in doing. Um, every time I take like an armor crafting profession, I try to keep up with it for a little bit, but if we're going to be doing a lot of dungeons on this character like I want to, we're not going to really be needing the gear from professions. So in that case, it becomes something that we're only leveling up that's only maybe going to help us a bit at endgame. Peace, so maybe we'll do alchemy and herbalism. We shall meet again. I've traveled many paths through life, and these old legs lack the vigor they once had. I can still perform my duties to the tribe, but sometimes it just takes an old woman a little longer to do the task. But you look like an eager warrior. Let's put some of that youthful, youthful vitality to the test, take the water pitcher from the well, and bring it to my son. Uh, we'll remember to actually click on the water. I think uh, several times I have just walked away from this without actually picking up the water. And nothing left to do but to make our way back. We'll fight a few guys on the way back. Just some extra experience. It's kind of one of my goals in this playthrough to see as many... I don't want to say all the quests, but we're going to see as many quests throughout the Barrens as we can. 
We're also going to be zone hopping to kind of break up the monotony of that and to keep ourselves ahead of the leveling curve. I like to do zone hopping just to kind of keep us focused on green or lower level yellow quests. And getting ahead of the leveling curve early on is really important in WoW. It kind of ensures that later when you're in the 40s and 50s that you don't just run out of quests. Alright, let's take our male gloves, 42 armor, big upgrades. A simple note, just a moment ago, a messenger was looking for you. I believe she was sent by the warrior trainer. If this note is from Harut, I wouldn't take long in reading its contents. Watch over you. And the hunt continues. A tauren skilled in the ways of the hunt knows that his prey is not for mere trophy. The beast of the plains provide us with the means of survival. You will make quite an impression on the elders if you can bring back some highly valued mountain cougar pelts. Go in peace. Okay, we can do that. Let's take a look at our inventory here as well and uh, make sure that we empty it out. So you are a vendor. Hail. Let's equip some stuff though. Like even this this junk male chest piece has 63 armor on it. We are not wearing a chest piece right now, so we are equipping that. Uh, let's put on one of these cloaks. Let's put on these boots for now, since we're not wearing any boots, and by boots I mean little ankle protectors. And then the gloves we got from the quest. Alright, uh, that looks good. Everything else we can, we can sell. May the eternal sun shine upon you. Many tribes claim that it is a gift to be blessed with the aptitude to use magic or to talk to our ancestors, but you should know this as well, warrior. You are just as gifted. Some do not have the strength in their arms to wield mighty weapons, some do not have the skill to parry a blow from an assassin, or to even, or to even suffer the physical punishments from an arcane spellcaster, but you do. You are strong, and I will help you become stronger. Alright, he's right over this way. You carried this picture back at the Great Mother's bidding, I see. Your willingness to help others and provide for the Torrin camp leads me to believe you would make the tribe proud in Thunderbluff someday. Rites of the Earth Mother. Your willingness to perform a humble task for the Torrin of Narash and your eagerness to learn are noble traits. I believe one day you will be heralded in Thunderbluff as a warrior of greatness. But before you embark... But before that, you must embark on the Rites of the Earth Mother, of which there are three. The first test is the right of strength. Travel to see your grey tongue and tell him Chief Hawkwin has sent you. Be careful. Hail. Alright, let's get into some warrior training here. How may I aid you? Uh, we can grab Battle Shout. That's going to increase the melee attack power of all party members within 20 yards by 15. So that's going to last for 2 minutes. Goodbye. Not a very long buff. I'm going to put that... Uh, we should put it here for now. This we can move. I do use an MMO mouse with 12 buttons on the side, 6 of which I can hit really easily, and that's what I have bound to these F keys, so when you're seeing F1 through F6, those are buttons that I'm hitting with my thumb on the mouse. And they are incredibly easy to hit, and having this mouse actually basically changed my gaming life. If you play MMOs, and you don't have a mouse that you can hit a bunch of buttons on the side of it really easily, do yourself a huge favor and get a better mouse and keybind it. Uh, because to me, like having my button presses feel good and be easy really, really changed my enjoyment of World of Warcraft and basically all MMOs. Uh, it's just a, a great quality of life thing to have. Uh, so let's see, we are looking for Mountain Cougar Pelts, and then we have to meet Seer Grey Tongue. so everything's going to be down to the south here.
I am seeing some mountain cougar bodies. We have uh, some competition for these guys. Oh yeah, lots of bodies. The hills are littered. Death and destruction. We have a druid wreaking havoc on the local population of cougars. I'm gonna move Battle Shout over here. We'll see how that works. Uh, let's leave it for now. I don't really know if I need auto attack on my bar or not. Not really. If anything, I can hit T pretty easily. Yeah, let's go talk to see your gray tongue. Let's we'll give the cats a little bit of time to respawn here. Chief Hawkwind sent you. Embarking on the rights of the Earth Mother is no small task. The rights of the Earth Mother are the steps a young Tora needs to take to gain respect in Thunderbluff. First, you must pass the Rite of Strength. In this test, you must prove your bravery by slaying enemies of the tribe. Bristlebacks of Brambleblade Ravine to the east are encroaching on our tribal lands. They ambush our hunting parties and steal from the village by dark. Show your valor by slaying these villains and return to the chief with their belts as proof of your deeds. Walk with the earth. Now, I think if we go back to town, there's actually another quest that's going to send us to the same place. We're going to finish the cats first, then we're going to go back to town, and then we're going to pick up uh, the other quest. Otherwise, we're going to head into there now, and then we're going to have to go back later. So for now, we're going to focus cats. I still haven't really decided how we're going to spec this guy leveling up. I really don't know. I always like the idea of just a big two-handed arms build, especially for like a Torin. But Fury is a lot of fun as well. I'll have to look at the talent trees and look at some builds, but I would definitely love to hear from you guys about your thoughts on, on which way we should spec leveling up. We're going to be doing a lot of tanking, but you know, leveling dungeons, it's not really going to matter that we're not going down the protection tree. As long as we have a, a sword and board. And I'm pretty sure that they changed Thunderclap, and in Burning Crusade I'm pretty sure you can Thunderclap in Defensive Stance, which you could not do in Vanilla. So that's gonna be that's gonna be different if if that is actually accurate and I'm pretty sure that it is. Uh, that's gonna be huge for AOE tanking is just being able to actually thunderclap in defensive stance and benefit from the bonus threat that you get while in defensive stance, and not have to worry about trying to stand stance to get your thunderclap off. Now, if only Cleave hit three targets. Uh, then it might be a button worth pressing. But yeah, I, I don't think we'll have any problems tanking most of the content uh, with either a arms build or a fury build. Just having the having the shield and shouldn't be a problem.
There we go, that's 10 out of 10. Uh, we could hearth back, but I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save our hearth for when we go into the Bramble Blade Ravine once we finish everything up there. That'll be a great time to use our hearthstone and hearth out. Yeah, I kind of don't mind just like fighting anything in my way right now because it's, it's so easy to to defeat stuff as a warrior at low level. And the things really can't put much of a dent in your health and armor at this point. And it won't always be that way. But it is that way early on. We can crush a lot of things that are a level or two under us and they can't really do a lot of damage to us. So we're going to take advantage of that a little bit. And probably fight a little bit more than we normally would on most classes. It's just the random stuff that kind of gets in our way. Yeah, see, this is the quest right here we need. What brings you here? Uh, the Torn of Narash, thank you for these provisions. With, with your skill in the way of the hunt, you will surely be revered in Thunderbluff someday. Let's take the belt. Stacking tons of armor right off the bat. Feels good. Battle Boars. Oh, we need this one too. The Battle Boars of Bramble Blade Ravine to the east are encroaching on our tribal grounds. They are trained to be malicious by the Bristleback Quill Boars with whom we are at war. Go and slay the vile creatures and bring back some snouts and flanks so that we may make stew for our young. Why is the stew just for the young? I mean, I'm, I like stew. Farewell. I am not young. How may I aid you? You don't see any young Torin. <laughs> where, where are these young youngins? I've heard of you, newcomer. Perhaps it is you that will help us where others have failed. We Torin have carved a home out of this land, but not without cost. The bristleback quillbores of Brambleblade Ravine, led by Chief Sharp Tusk Thornmantle, have made our lives difficult with their continued war against us. I charge you to bring me the chief's head. He will be found in the ravine to the east. Farewell. So two quests, we got two more quests to go into that, that same area. Really glad we waited, let's do the smart thing. We are gonna, well we're gonna ding level four. Yeah, let's come out here, we'll ding level four, then we'll sell our inventory and we'll train our level four skills. I think we're gonna get charge. Getting charge would be a lot of fun. So let's see if that happens. Might be like two more kills, maybe we'll, uh, we'll get level four. Definitely worth it. Maybe for professions I'll do something I've never done before. Maybe we'll go like double gathering skill. Maybe we'll do like leather working and herbalism and we'll sell stuff on the auction house. I don't know, if any of you guys are on uh, Mancrick and you know how the economy is, let me know. Like, are people actually going to be buying, like, lower level stuff? When when does it get valuable, basically? Am I going to be able to sell a stack to the auction house at a higher value than I can sell a stack to a vendor? I guess that would be... That would be the question. Am I going to be able to sell a stack of light leather on the auction house for more money than I could just vendor it for because that's what it takes to, to be worth it to put it on the auction house for me is that I have to be able to sell it for more than I could vendor it for uh, but that could be something we could do it'd be nice to make money <laughs> making money in WoW is nice when you can manage to do that 
Uh, we could actually get our mount on time and stuff. Getting the mount at level 30 instead of 40 would be ideal. Uh, yeah, those are not better than what we have, right? No, they're not. Uh, we're going to save this shield. I don't think we're... Well, you know what? We're probably not going to need that. We'll, we'll get a better shield before we need one. Pretty much guaranteed. Goodbye. And now we train. Peace, friend. Hey, there we go. There's charge. And Ren wounds the target, causing them to bleed for 15 damage, plus an additional uh, amount of damage based on weapon damage. That'll probably make more sense once it's actually on our toolbar. It doesn't really clarify the zero. <laughs> An additional zero. Uh, maybe when we have a better weapon, it'll deal more. Don't really know. Uh, I do need to think about moving some stuff around a little bit. I'm just not too sure where I want everything right now. Getting the buttons right is always a big deal for me. Eventually I will figure it out, but I'll probably be changing my, my keybinds a little bit as we go. Uh, where do I want you? That's that's not bad. Maybe something like that. Okay, let's head out. I wonder if the grandmother is still here, like, post-cataclysm. Probably not. But she definitely hangs out there until then. She said it takes her a little bit longer than usual to get around, but she didn't mention that it was going to take three expansions. There we go. That feels good. If you're looking at classes in WoW and you're wondering like which one feels a little bit more action-y, a little bit more fast-paced, I would always recommend the Warrior or the Rogue. Uh, and the main reason is because they don't use mana. If you want a mana-using class that has a little bit of a faster pace, you were probably looking at a Hunter. Uh, they, they do use mana in TBC. But they're a little bit faster paced, they rely... they do a lot of damage with their auto shot and their pet, so... You're not as reliant on your mana bar always being completely full. Uh, we don't need to fight too many of these out here, actually, because we're going to have opportunity to fight some as we work our way through. And we'll be able to fight well. I don't want to have to come out and fight, so... Maybe we just fight everything out here. Kind of just work our way in from here. Fighting as we go. Yeah, my goal is kind of to get to level 10 today. That is kind of my goal. It might make for a little bit of a longer video. I've been trying to typically put out hour and a half videos. Uh, prior to that, I've been doing hour long stuff. I want to get to level 10, which, which might make this one a little bit lengthy, but we'll see how it goes.
I've been thinking about this class so much and thinking about the playthrough so much that I, I feel like I have to like catch up to my thoughts. Which I know is, is not really realistic and I, I'm not really one for rushing through stuff in the way that people sometimes do. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I don't feel that inside my head, that urge to kind of like go, go, go. Uh, especially, like I said, I've been, I've been looking forward to this uh, for a while and kind of putting it off. And trying to see how other things go and make sure it's the right time. Sometimes though, you just have to do it. You can't really spend too much time thinking about making it the right moment. Just taking the moment that you have. We can head in now. We're gonna we're gonna find a we're gonna have to fight a couple more of those to kind of clear our way through. So we don't have to we don't have to get all the items out here, but I want to get most because once we are done in here, I do want to be able to hearth out. Uh, there is a quest we could pick up. I think we can go this way and kind of wrap around to get to it. This is not gonna be the way. Maybe we have to go this way and wrap around? This is one of the quests. Uh, I was mentioning how Questy can help us find quests that we otherwise might miss. And this quest back here is one that I missed for about 15 years. Of, you know, leveling various characters through this zone back in the day. And uh, yeah, I didn't know about this quest until I started using Questy. So, as far as getting to it, I, I think we do have to do kind of a loop around. Uh, we do have an ad here, but again, with how much armor we have, it's really not a big deal uh, to pull an extra enemy. There's not a lot they can do to us right now.
Now, spell damage. Spell damage is something we do have to be a little bit wary of on the warrior. We don't ideally want to pull a bunch of spell casters because they don't really care about our armor very much, and they will be able to melt us later on in levels. But luckily, you know, with being a caster comes later armor that we can just kind of rip through. And then if we have a couple of unlucky misses, uh, you can see we can still get kind of low on health here. Let's do a quick stun. Dirt Stained Map. This is the item that starts the quest. Oh, inventory is full. Uh, that is actually bad. Pretty bad. Is there anything we can equip? Not really. What do we want to drop? Let's drop the spring water. There we go. After carefully evaluating the map, you realize that what you discovered are plans made by the Bristleback War Chief for an extended siege on Camp Narashe. Um, yeah, this is... Not a good situation, honestly. You really don't want your inventory to be full like this. You definitely don't want to be dropping stuff on the ground like this. Let's try that again. There we go. And we're still going to need bag space for the chief's head, so there is that. Well, uh, that did not go exactly as I had planned, but, uh, should be okay. We did pull the chief as well, but we did not pull the caster, so that's actually going to be okay. Alright, making room for the head. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of the apple. There we go, and then we need a few belts, so we'll get the rest of our belts, and then we can get out of here. There's level five.
And there's our last belt. Let's go ahead and we will hurt out of here. Not bad, not bad. We did run on inventory space pretty early on. Uh, we sold before we left, so besides like grinding out some silver for another bag, there's not really a lot we could have done. We could have run back and, you know, vendored and run back out, but that'd be pretty time consuming. Go in peace. Uh, speaking of that, though, let's, before we turn in any more quests, let's go ahead and empty out the inventory. Greetings, travelers. Let's see, we don't need that. Sharp Tusk, Sharp Tusk will trouble us no more once you have brought me proof of his death. Oh, yep, here is his head. Justice has been served on this day by your swift actions. Let this dead, let this deed even serve as a warning to all who would threaten our home. Uh, let's take the pants for fifty-eight armor. Walk with the earth. Nice. What brings you here? You've passed the first test of the rights of the Earth Mother. The tribe will be proud. Uh, we are going to take... Ooh, these are both one-handers. Yikes. For you to continue with the rights of the Earth Mother, you must pass two more tests. It is time for you to broaden your experience. Travel to Bloodhoof Village and seek out Chief Bane Bloodhoof, son of Karn. There you may continue your journey and earn the acceptance of the elders of up Thunder Bluff. Take this totem to Bane, he will recognize my carvings and help you on your path. Go in peace. Well met. And the battle plans. This is quite an alarming quite alarming indeed. But with this information, we can call on our brethren from Bloodhoof Village to help thwart the attack. You have saved the lives of many Torin. I kind of wish we would get to like see the attack and help fend it off. May the eternal that would be really shine. cool. What we're gonna do for a bit is we'll go uh, we'll go shield and one hander to uh, get some of our one hand skill up. We're gonna need those skills to be up once we are tanking. So we'll kind of do that. Uh, we're gonna keep our two hander. I think we could sell it. We'll just sell it. It's it's less damage than the one hander. So we'll we'll do the one hander and the shield until we get another two hander. There we go. I, I don't think we can get any bags here, so we can't do anything about our limited inventory situation just yet. Uh, let's set out here, and we're going to make our way around and head down to Bloodhoof Village. We have a breadcrumb quest we can pick up on the way. No reason not to fight some stuff on the way, especially when you're trying to skill up a weapon. Please, I beg you, can you help me? I have not finished my task here on the Mesa. I'm in the middle of my right of strength, and my father asked me to deliver these furs to the inn in Bloodhoof. I'm far from tested enough to complete both my right and this task for my father. Would you mind going for me? Goodbye. We got you.
And we'll be able to pick up some professions in Bloodhoof. I, I think that for now, I am going to go Herbalism and Skinning. We, we could go Mining and Skinning. I just feel like with Mining, there's less chance that I'm going to keep up on that. You have to go like a lot more out of your way, I feel like, to level up Mining than you do to level up Herbalism. Or obviously Skinning is pretty easy to, to keep at level. But you guys let me know. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do gathering stuff. I think. I. I don't think I want to do any production professions. But then again, I, I keep being pulled back to alchemy just because I know how useful it is to have potions. But if we have money, if we're making money, then we can get stacks of potions on the auction house. And if we're getting money, then it would probably be more likely that we'll get our mount on time and stuff like that. Oh, you're level 7. <laughs> That's why you're still alive. That makes sense. We might have bit off a little bit more than we wanted to chew on here. Uh, but that's okay, we did get it, manage to get him down. We are only level 5, so we probably don't want to be fighting a ton of level 7 guys right now. Let's make our way into the town. Go for a little swim across the lake here. Alright, he has a lot of quests for us. Hello, Bane. How are you, my friend? Remember when you used to just sit around Bloodhoof Village instead of, like, sitting on your butt in Orbos? <laughs> Remember the good old days? There are many conflicts that wound this land. I, my hope is that you will not have to bear witness to as many of them as I have, yet there is one that I would ask you to seek out. It will give you some sense of how terrible, if left unchecked, even a small threat can be to the land. Palemane gnolls have settled to the south of Bloodhoof in a cave to the west. They disrespect our attempts to communicate with them, and they slay the wildlife of Mulgore unbridled. Words are no longer the answer. Walk with the Earth, Mother. And a right of vision. The rights of vision, one of the rights of the Earth Mother, will help guide you toward earning the respect of the elders of Thunderbluff. Our people have learned that the land is the most holy provider. In order to take part in this ritualistic vision, you must speak with the spiritual leader of the village, Zarlman Tumuns. And Dwarven Digging. There are dwarves preparing a dig site to the northwest. They think secrets lie in the earth, and that is true. But hollowing and defiling the land is no way to earn its teachings. 
Collect the dwarven tools of digging, smash them, and return them to me. Return to me with the dwarves' broken tools. Walk with the earth, mother. All right, lots and lots of stuff going on here. Let's see what uh, Rule Eagle Talon wants us to do. Dangers of the Wind Fury sounds like a harpy quest. Greetings. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for taking the time to speak with me. I am Rule Warrior and Teacher. You have obviously reached an age when you must prepare for your trials if you are to adventure much further out of Mulgore. If you wish to test your strength, start by seeking out the Wind Fury Harpies to the southeast. Ancestors watch for I don't think I'll start with that, but yeah, I mean, definitely. All right, let's bind our hearthstone here. Ah, uh, I have just the thing. Deliver the furs. Uh, we're gonna take the bread. May the eternal sun shine upon you. What brings you? Here? And we could vendor a couple of things that we're holding on to. Uh, first aid training. Uh, we definitely, we definitely need to do this. No questions. Poison water. Goblins and their servants have tainted our sacred wells. Yep. You know, those terrible goblins. Uh, we need to uh, cleanse the well by bringing him six prairie wolf paws and four plain starter talons. Ancestors watch Silly goblins. Hail. Bring eight trophy swoop quills to Harkin Wind Totem. So, more hunting. Look for skinning. And uh, herbalism. In order to pass through the Rite of Vision, you must gather the reagents needed to make the Water of Seers. Collect two Wellstones, two Amber Corn, and bring them back. And Maserashe. My grandfather told me stories about his battles with a strider named Maserashe. He told me of its demonic red eyes, razor-sharp talons, and venomous bite. As fortune would have it, while traveling across the plains, I encountered it, and it took a nasty bite from my shoulder. He was a ter as terrible as my grandfather described. I will need some hard-to-find animal parts to clean the infection from this bite. A wolf heart, cougar femur, and plain shredder scale. Hurry, time is of the essence. Is it? Because you just seem like you're chilling. I don't want a timed quest. Go. Okay, it's not timed. Alright, should be good. Uh, and then we have a quest way over here. And possibly Ambercorn just kind of scattered about the village. Okay, yeah. That's a lot of stuff going on. Kyle's gone missing. What is this? I have never seen this before. That was the creepiest voice line I've ever heard. Is this some kind of, like, seasonal quest? My prized puppy Kyle has run away. I just know he's running around Bloodhoof Village lost and hungry. Will you find him and feed him? Once he eats, he will settle down and come home. To feed him, you will need to find food. His favorite meal is tender strider meat. Venture east, you should find plenty of striders. Um, okay. I have never... I, I have never done this quest before. I have no idea what this is about. Uh, but we'll see if we can get it done. We have to find strider meat. I'm sure we'll come across some strider meat as we uh, take care of other things here. Very, very strange. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what do we want to do? And in what order do we want to do it? The first thing I should do is go take skinning and herbalism. If we want to do that, we should get that going pretty early here. And I'll need to remember to also buy a skinning knife. Alright, there is Apprentice Skinning, um, and then Herbalism is back over to the east. We need to locate our, our trainer as well. Because we are level 6. Oh wait, there's not an herbalism trainer. I was looking up here for some reason. Yeah, there's not an herbalism trainer here. We have to, if we want herbalism, apparently we have to go to Bloodhoof to learn it. Well, that's something. Or to Thunderbluff even. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I wasn't planning on making a trip to Thunderbluff anytime soon. But apparently I might have to. Well met. Thunderclap, let's take a look at this here. Blast nearby enemies, increasing the time between their attacks by 10% for 10 seconds, doing 10 damage to them. This ability causes additional threat. Look at this. This is the probably the big change from vanilla into Burning Crusade. Thunderclap now is dealing additional threat and affects up to four targets. And we're going to be able to use it in defensive stance. That's huge. Uh, my most recent experience on a warrior was Season of Mastery which is a vanilla rule base. So we were not able to Thunderclap in defensive stance. Thunderclap did not deal additional threats. I don't know if it hit four targets. I, I thought it only hit three. Uh, but yeah, really happy about that. We'll grab Perry as well, and that is the rest of our coins. We are now broke. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I don't know about the whole herbalism and skinning thing now. I, I guess I have to make my way up to Thunder Bluff sooner rather than later. We have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I could probably just carve away north fighting stuff and just take care of this now. We have quests up here that we really don't want to do yet and we have stuff down to the south. The thing is, I, I don't really want to do everything everywhere until I, until I get my herbalism, right? We want to be able to collect whatever herbs we find as we, as we quest. So yeah, I, I think we do have to head up that way and just uh, take on whatever we can along the way. It's not going to be the most efficient thing to do when it comes... That's so creepy. Please stop saying that in that weird voice. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah, see, if we go north, we're going to be encountering some things that are a little bit of a higher level than us. Don't really know if that can be helped. I don't really- oh shit. Help us! <laughs> yes, thank you! What about the other one? This one too. Thank you, brave Dark Sky. You have saved the day, my friend. I don't even care that we can't loot that one. Uh, we should be hitting more as our skill maxes out here, which it'll do in a, in a couple more 
combat. So let's let's eat a little bit, get our health back. That's the first time we've had to eat, so we made it to level six without having to stop for health or anything. It's not bad. If we had done stuff in the south first, I think it would have been lower level enemies, but since I am trying to make my way to Thunder Bluff, we are gonna be fighting some higher level enemies for a bit here. Let's get the second Amber Corn so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we have to make our way over to this water well too. We might as well do that while we are while we're out here. Oh, skinning would be good, Robert. Robert, you skin things on this character. Remember? Uh, we didn't skin back here, did we? We can't skin the bird. All right, first enemies defeated, first skins left on the ground. We'll keep a counter. We'll see uh, how many skins we forget. Let's. Can we actually... Yeah, the wolf is gone, and the cat was never ours to skin to begin with. Uh, Peace Bloom here that we would love to be herbing right now. But yeah, we're not going to make any money on skins if we forget to skin. You're absolutely right about that. I'm gonna try to pull these guys out. I don't know if they're gonna run yet, but they are all packed pretty tightly together, so let's avoid pulling any ads if, if we can. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna run, so we're gonna have to pull them back a little bit more than that, actually. Come with me, please. And we're just trying to clear enough so that we can get up here. We need a stone well, a, a, or a well stone even. Okay, there's one over here and there's one back there. So let's let's go this way. For some reason I thought we had to get to the well itself, but that's that's not the case. I need to pull, pull you back, but not towards the cat. We pulled the cat anyway. Hello, cat. Yeah, I figured, uh, I thought maybe, just maybe we can get it without aggroing, but no, that's not, and we, we are gonna aggro too. This is, uh, this is bad. <laughs> and we're missing, everything is missing. Uh, do I want to even fight this or do I want to run away? I think we're running. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna save a death here and we're just gonna run away. I can't fight two level 8 guys, uh, at level 6. That is just not going to happen. It's not going to happen, guys. I think we can do it, right? We can probably do it, but... We need to pull this guy first. Let's get him down here.
But we don't have any cloth yet, so we can't make bandages just yet. And there we go, that's uh, that taken care of. We need a lot from the Elder Plane Striders. What are the odds that we get the guy to drop multiple quest items? Probably not very good. Inventory is full. Uh, this is what we need for the dog. Uh, for Doggo. Alright guys, what I have to do here is I'm going to take us to Thunder Bluff. I'm going to use some editing magic. Uh, I'm not going to continue to fight these higher level guys right now. I'm just going to get us to the city. We're going to learn herbalism and then we're going to continue... We're probably going to continue more down to the south, I would think, than up here. We just probably just want to be fighting guys that are a little bit lower level. And I think this is going to be the best way. So uh, I'll see you guys in a moment here. All right, so we have herbalism now. And I was able to empty our bags out a little bit. And we're going to head back to the south and kind of fight along the way. The music you hear is from the Dark Moon Fair. Because that's right, the Dark Moon Fair is in town here in Mulgore. Uh, maybe we'll check that out at some point. I'm not really sure exactly what we can get from it. Or if any of it is particularly useful or just a bunch of flavor stuff. But uh, we could have a look at some point. We'll fight some guys along the way. Uh, but ultimately I want to make it down here. We'll take care of the level 5 stuff first. Focus more on stuff to the south before we really head out here to the north. Uh, we are tracking herbs. So there might not be a lot of herbs in Mulgore. I don't really know. But we will be able to herb what we do find. We got the Prairie Wolf Heart. I also picked up a quest from the Leatherworking Trainer in Thunder Bluff to get a 12 light leathers. So that'll net us some experience and rewards. We'll definitely do that. And go after the Cougar Femur for Lucky. Oh, you're level 9! Oh no. Oh lord, no. I want that uh, peace bloom, but we are going to have to drop this guy. We made a terrible mistake in charging him. Let's see if we can get him off of us. There we go. Yeah, see, too many of the things around here are level 8 and 9 for us right now. I just don't think it's smart to be taking this stuff on. Uh, we are going to have to prioritize getting some more bags pretty soon, especially doing double gathering. We're going to need bigger bags quickly.
So maybe the weird dog quest, maybe that's part of the Dark Moon Fair. Could be. Now, speaking of the dog, we do have the food it wants. Kyle would delight in taking a bite out of this succulent treat. We just need to actually find the dog, so... I think this little red line here is his path that he runs through the town. We'll see if we can find him. We did complete a quest. This must be the well stones that we grabbed. Well met. I now present you with the water of seers. When you are ready, consume the waters near the tribal fire. Once you have ingested the holy waters, it will take a few moments before the vision materializes before the fire. At that point, it is up to you to follow it to your destiny. Um... Sure. I don't think we have to fo follow the vision right away. I think it spawns a, a spirit wolf, but it's going to mark the location on our mini-map through Questy, so... Oh, it already... Maybe it already has... I, I don't know. This is a long cast time. Yeah. Really long. And there he goes. Yeah, we don't need to follow him, nor are we going to right this moment. Uh, yeah, what I'd like to do is find this dog. I'm assuming we don't just, like, click this and call him. Okay. That's not it. Oh, here he is. Okay. I really don't know. Oh, there we go. Quest complete. Look at that. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. Alright, let's go turn this one in, shall we? Fantastic work. Kyle came home as soon as he ate and went straight to bed. <laughs> he w came home? Is this where you live? Do you live under the bridge? I don't understand. Okay, that was it. It's worth a little bit of experience. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't complain. It was a neat little quest. We got to help the puppers, so always good. Uh, and now we're gonna head to the south. We also have Ravaged Caravan we could grab over to the east. Yeah, let's get out of town here. Uh, how the bags look? And the bags are looking like they could look better. That's true. Any vendors? No vendors in here, just trainers. I think it's going to cost us like five silver for even a small bag. So, we can't afford one yet. Ow. And with that in mind, we really just have to sell what we can, but uh, there's not a lot that we can sell, honestly. We could probably sell the ruined leather scraps, right? Because we don't have leather working, we can't turn these into anything. So let's just get them out of our inventory. I almost forgot about that, I was holding on to them like we were going to be able to do something with them, but... Since we only have skinning, we are going to be able to sell the good skins, and then the scraps we'll just get rid of. Alright, yeah, I think heading down here is a good idea. I'm also kind of worried that there might not be a decent way up here. Well, that's back where we came from. We, we shouldn't need to go all the way back there. No, we should find plenty of striders in this area. Here we go, level 5. Uh, much better. It's 
Threatening Growl. Strength reduced by two, agility reduced by two. Ouch. No, I'm not going to forget to skin, to skin that guy. We're going to go back and skin him right now, as a matter of fact. Not a lot of herbs, though, I'm noticing. And Mulgore does not seem to have a ton of herbs, at least not in the areas that we've been in so far. Alright, here's a pale main camp. We need 10 tanners, 8 skinners, and 5 poachers. So yeah, basically we need to slaughter the entire- He wasn't kidding when he said words were no longer the answer. He's like, basically go there and kill everyone you can. I always kind of wondered why they put this little wall up here on the ridge line that kind of blocks uh, the other village and the other area. It's always been curious. I, I just don't understand the purpose of it. Is it so people just don't fall off? <laughs> or is it blocking that area up there so that the game doesn't have to render it? Which would have been a concern back in 2004 that wouldn't really be a concern now. It's interesting. So if we started with axes and maces and we have two-handed maces, we can we get two-handed axes from a Thunder Bluff or do we have to go to Ogremar for two-handed axes and then Undercity for two-handed swords? I'm going to have to take some time, probably just on my own, to go get all the weapon skills we need. Uh, what I don't want to have happen is I, I don't want to get a weapon upgrade and then not be able to use it because we haven't trained the skill yet. And that could probably happen pretty soon if we don't uh, take care of it.
Though we could also probably train Swords and Silvermoon. I was kind of considering that for our zone hopping for this playthrough. Once we get around level like 14 or 15, maybe that's a good time for us to actually head into the Ghostlands. I know, it's kind of weird to think about a Torn in the Ghostlands, but... The thing about the Ghostlands is you get some pretty good rewards from the quest. The quests are all relatively good quests to do. And you also have the Tranquiline Rep Vendor, which sells some stuff that could be useful at low levels. And like I said, we're gonna zone hop somewhere anyway. Like, we're gonna zone hop somewhere. Uh, ooh, two- uh, yeah! <laughs> we pulled the whole camp. Just run in with our big self and pull every single person in the camp. Uh, we're running away. Yeah, so it's either like, we're either gonna go to Silver Pine, or we're gonna go to Ghostlands. And I would rather just do Ghostlands. Uh, and we can kind of flop between there and the Barrens to kind of make sure we're working on green quest and lower level yellow quest. And yeah, I think that'd be a good thing for us to do on this character. Alright, let's try to not pull everything. Maybe we try to body pull this guy? Uh, yeah, that didn't work. I really need him to run out here a little bit. There we go. That should do it. Uh, we pulled this caster back here, unfortunately. This is probably not the best thing that we could have done. Well, that was a nice crit. That helped us out a lot towards actually surviving this one. And I'm pretty sure we're getting respawns already, which is not great. It's not great. Hoping they let me open this chest without popping any respawns on top of us. Bags are probably completely full. <laughs> Luckily, a lot of the stuff stacked with other stuff that we had. Uh, but yeah, that's not the greatest. We're going to go back and sell. I really can't afford to have my bags full and not be picking stuff up. Yeah, like the tough jerky, we could have at least vendored it, right? But yeah, let's work our way back and we can vendor. We're not that far from town. Not going to be able to skin that one. It's a two-handed mace. I just don't think it would be much better than what we have. Uh, and what we have is a one-hander, so... 
wondering if I should just be vendoring the herbs. If we really need to be holding on to them to try to put them in the auction house. Kind of wondering. I'm going to vendor them for now. And I'll investigate the prices and whatnot. And if they sell for a bit per stack, then, then I'll start saving them up. But for right now, my bag... Or just when we get another bag, right? If I can get an herbalism bag, that'd be ideal. Then I can hang on to that stuff for a lot longer, but... I really can't hang on to it right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to find the general goods guy here, and... Uh, we are going to try to... Buy a bag. Hoping this guy is in here. Yeah, let's just get the basic small pouch. We can only afford one, but it's better than nothing. You know what we haven't gotten in a long time on a new start character is we haven't gotten a free bag from like a random enemy. To me, that's always like really good luck if you can get a bag drop basically like early on in the game from just a random enemy you're fighting. That's like the best thing that could happen to you early on. Uh, and it didn't happen to us. That's uh, kind of sad. Oh, hey, look at this. That uh, Strider body might still be out here. We can loot it and skin it still. And of course all these guys have respawned, which is fine. We, we need them, so... It stops us from having to go look somewhere else. We are getting a little bit of linen now. We should be able to make some bandages pretty soon. Have noticed that. We need five poachers, and it doesn't look like we're finding any poachers here. We need to move to the camp that's a little ways to our east.
that's all the plane strider talons that we need. That's one thing we can mark off. And now we are looking for some poachers. They're going to be like deep in the ranks here. We're going to have to pull other guys to get to them. I don't want to pull two at a time if we can avoid it. We do need to get a bow and some arrows pretty soon. Oh, hi. Hello. Didn't see you there. Yeah, need to pull my camera out a little bit. Yeah, these guys are packed in here really tight. It's it's a little bit concerning. I'm gonna have to clear my way inward. And hope we don't have too many problems with runners. Oh good, they fire bows, so we, we need to maintain that melee range as we pull them out. Uh, well, that was bad. I don't really know if we can take on two of these guys. Uh, we might not have much of a choice but to try here, though. Unless we don't want to defeat either of them. I'm going to defeat this guy, and then we're going to run. And we'll, we'll try to range the other guy. That's probably going to be our best bet. There we go. We will eat and get all of our health back before we go back in. Yeah, we just... They're too close together. We keep pulling two of them. If we do this, maybe the one will have trouble getting shots off on us. Oh, he took off and went the other way. <laughs> Are we going to be able to get this guy? I don't know. I'd feel better if we had a potion. Do we have a potion? We do have potions. Let's get those guys out here. Pop one of those. And let's try to avoid pulling any more guys. There's a chest in there, but uh, it's not going to be worth fighting to it. The chests in this game are mainly filled with junk and materials, and I'm not really interested in either right now. Rarely ever do you find like a good green or something inside of a chest. It's probably possible, but it's highly unlikely. Let's, let's work our way back to town. What do we still need out here? Swoops and Prairie Wolf Paws.
It's weird for me to have uh, skinning on a warrior, so trying not to forget. I don't think I've forgotten many, but I'm sure I've forgotten a couple. Alright, so the wolves are done. We need the swoops. We have wind fury problems out here to the east. I think we need to go back to town though. Let's see. Uh, well, we still have some space in the inventory, but probably a good time to head back. Uh, we could pick up... Oh boy, we're gonna aggro both of these. Yeah, fun times! Exactly what I wanted to do. We're gonna run up here and pick up the Ravage Caravan. Maybe we'll take care of that really quick. If we survive the wolf attack. Still worth it to fight these guys. We are working on our light leather quest that we have. We need 12 light leather. Ah, uh, there he is over there, actually. A few days ago, we found a Venture Company caravan traveling under guard on the northern shore of Stonebull Lake. We'd lost two of our number in an earlier battle, so we were quick to attack and lay waste to the caravan. We left their supply crates, thinking that our torches would destroy anything of value, but given that the Venture Company salvagers had been spotted near the burned wagons, maybe we were wrong. Be careful. Ah, uh, this is right up the road? We can do that, sure. Uh, we need you, potentially. I do see the druid back there dancing, now that you ask. Uh, we're gonna make our way over here to get this silver leaf. We've seen so few herbs that I feel like we need to go out of our way for any that we do see.
Whoops, that was a misclick. Uh, did I not grab this? Oh, I must have failed. <laughs> Just kind of clicked it and walked away without actually herbing it. There we go. Alright, slowly but surely we are making our way towards the burned caravan. Just want to make sure that we get everything we could possibly get on the way that we need. Eventually, one of these cats will drop a cougar femur. One of them will have a femur when we're done with them. Uh, that might not be bad. We could equip this. Oh, we can't use guns. <laughs> we don't have the proficiency. But don't Torrent Hunters start with guns? We have to learn all of our ranged weapon skills as a warrior, apparently. All right, well, keep that in mind. Something else that I could have done back in Thunder Bluff had I really thought about it. It's okay, we'll be going back there to turn in the leather. And probably for other things as well fairly soon. Uh, that's not great. We are going to pop a potion here. Hey, there's the cougar femur, but we don't have any inventory space. There we go. And I'm assuming we're going to need at least one more inventory spot for whatever we find up ahead at the caravan, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. And it won't be an item. Oh, 
probably be a good idea to back this guy up a little bit. It's highly likely that he runs here. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, what we could do... We could do some first aid. Oh, we can't. <laughs> can't do anything. So we have a full inventory. Uh, this is gonna be close. Really don't like our odds of living here. Let's pop our last potion. It has been raining the entire morning. I just realized that. Usually the weather will kind of like change a little bit as time passes, but not so much today. Of course we couldn't just sneak in there and click on it. Why would we be able to do that? We are a giant minotaur creature. It's gonna be something we have to carry. Crying open the lid reveals a tightly packed assortment of ore and minerals, more evidence of the Venture Company's mining operation in Mulgore. On the top of the ore and the minerals, you remove a tightly bound sheaf of papers. Up in the foothills to the east, you can s you can barely hear the sounds of work and see smoke rising from the fire. I think they're talking about the mines over here. Alright, uh, I think it's a good time just to head back to town. We are right here, we can swim across the lake. I... Wait, what's going on with this? What is this telling me to do? Return the documents. Okay, I have the documents, right? Return the Venture Company documents. Yeah, Questy is weird sometimes, and uh, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Scaring me, making me think that I, I didn't properly take the quest. But I, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we have the Venture Company documents. Yeah, okay, we should be good. Should be good despite the fact that Questy seems to think we never picked it up. Let's take the boots. That's a huge upgrade over what we have. And there is level 8. Alright. That's an upgrade as well. Greetings. 
Greetings. It's good to see you've taken my task seriously. Respect of the land and its creatures is important. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. Take time to ponder this and do well to never forget it. He's giving us some bullets. It's Whoa, too bad that we can't good. equip that uh, pellet gun. That is a damn shame. The winds guide you. I've crafted the totem to cleanse the Winterhoof water well. Now you must take it to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. You will find it to the southeast, guarded by foul goblins. This will not be an easy task, but you must do it if we are to ever use its waters again. We shall meet again. All right, let's go vendor some stuff here. I know, yeah, we get foolish bags. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I had to take a little break to get some coffee and food in me, and now, now I think I am ready to press on to get level 10 today. So yeah, definitely a good decision. Sell all this stuff for now. That should be good for the time being. We shall meet again. Oh, that gives us eight silver. Do we want to buy another bag? Do we need to check with our trainer? The answer to both of those questions might be yes. Let's grab another bag first. Uh, I might regret spending the silver this early, but... I might also regret being out in the field, wanting to stay out there, but not having enough space to store stuff. Either way, guys, uh, there are going to be regrets. <laughs> it's unavoidable. I was kind of trying to hold out to see if we would get one to drop for free after I complained about not getting one. It did not happen for us, sadly. And yeah, I'm aware this is probably a really long episode. It's probably going to be close to a three-hour episode. I don't usually do episodes this long if you're new to the channel. Um, I think for an episode one, it's fine. Going forward, the episodes will be probably around an hour and a half is where I'm trying to gravitate at the moment. What brings you here? Uh, heroic Strike Rank 2, yes, please. Hamstring, we don't have the silver for. Uh, is there nothing we could sell? We could probably sell these boots. I don't know if we could sell the pellets. I'd love to get hamstring um, just to stop the runners, you know. We're going to go without it for now. I know, it's probably a mistake, right? We're going to go without it for now. We'll get it as soon as we can. Next time we're back in town, we'll be able to get it no problem. We're going to head over here and cleanse the Winterhoof uh, water well. Then I think we're going to head to the far eastern corner here and take on some of the Wind Fury that are over that way. Uh, we're going to have to fight our way in this time. There we go, we don't have to be right next to it to cast this, we are quite some yards away and it's casting just fine. And there we go, objective complete.
It's really weird that Questy is still showing that quest. This goes to Thunder Bluff, no? Return the documents to Morin Cloudstalker. Oh, is this guy pathing around? Is that is that why we haven't turned it in? Because he's on the road somewhere, right? It's just not showing us where he's at. Okay, we're going to have to find him to get that turned in. That's the part that I'm blanking on. Yeah, he's not a guy who's standing in town. He's the guy that we met on the road. Okay, well, that makes sense. Still need swoops. I'm gonna go down here and grab this silver leaf. Like I said, they haven't been giving us a lot of herbs, so when I see one pop up, even if it's a little ways off, I'm probably gonna run and get it. Wind Fury Harpies, we need eight of them. We need their talons, so we might have to fight more than eight of them. Depending on what the drop rate is like. Now might be a good time to go ahead and create some bandages here. Let's do that. And now that we have inventory space, that will actually work. We can get these out to our bar. That should be good. Uh, they get a little range on us when they do that. They uh, they back up a little bit. And yeah, fair to say that the drop rate is not 100% here.
Let's try a bandage here. Oh, well, we were going to heal to full, but apparently we are going to get attacked instead. Are we going to be okay? That's the big question. Uh, it's going to be close. Now we really need to eat to full. Looks like we have some silver leaf up here behind us. Might be worth heading that way. Kind of surprised we didn't pull the wolf. Honestly, he's level 9, we're level 8. Uh, what did we not loot here? Oh, a quest item. Yeah, we need to make sure that we loot everything. I don't really know how I forgot to do that, but... It happens, I guess. At least we noticed it. I'm sure you guys noticed it before I did. Like, right when I didn't loot.
Yeah, the ones who cast back-to-back -back lightning bolts certainly do a lot more damage to us, don't they? That's the last item we need off of those guys. We still need some swoops. Let's make our way to the road here and maybe we can find this guy to turn in the quest. And we'll try to keep our eyes open for swoops and go on a little bit of a swoop hunt here. Uh, there are some centaur here. I have only seen centaur a couple of times. They're level 9 and they're together. I don't really want to take them out. Uh, Questy is not indicating that we would get any kind of quest from them, so maybe we just leave them alone. Kind of angers me to see them intruding upon Mulgore, but not a lot we're going to do against two level 9 centaurs. Uh, we have one potion. That's only going to go so far. Uh, not really sure where this guy is at. I guess maybe he's a lot closer to the village. I'm gonna try to get to the swoop here, but we might be trailing a bunch of wolves by then. Don't really want the wolf at the same time. Kind of letting them space out a little bit here. There we go. That's good. Oh, okay. We pulled a different wolf. So yeah, all the best laid plans, right? When you don't look around at your surroundings, this kind of stuff happens. Uh, I'm not going to take these guys on. They're going to beat the crap out of us. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's try to run away. Maybe we live. I don't really want to pop the potion now just to run away, but I will if I have to. All right, cool. Uh, let's try that again. This time, let's also get the peace bloom that we left behind. This is where a bow or a gun would come in handy. Well, I was just trying to look for the... Oh, there he is. Okay, he just just as I spoke, he fades into existence because, of course. Come on, buddy. Turn around. Wait up. Greetings. It does indeed appear that the Venture Company is attempting to rob us of our natural resources. It is good to know this for true, and now it seems we must do something about it. This explains the buildup of Venture Company employees and equipment we've seen in Mulgore, those goblins. Their company is expanding too quickly for their own good. It's how they say, show a goblin something and you can hear the scales in the background. Okay. 
Kill 14 Venture Company workers and 6 Venture Company supervisors. Farewell. Peace, friend. And then kill uh, Supervisor Frizz Sprocket as well and return his clipboard to Morin here. Bye. Okay, that's good. That's all going to be done right up here. So yeah, we can definitely do that now. Do we want to do the Dwarven stuff first? Uh, hmm. Should be okay. I don't know. Maybe we're a little bit of a low level to be taking that on. That's level 10. That's level 8. Let's head over that way and just see what kind of enemies we're dealing with and how packed together they are. Also, looking at our bags. Our bags are not awful. You know, it's it's not... We're not in a terrible position inventory-wise. This chest piece is better than what we have on. It looks the same, but it does have more armor, so that's that's a bonus. And that's our last trophy swoop quill. That cleans the map up quite a bit. Very nice. Got a few quests we can pick up by hunting down certain enemies that drop items that begin quests. We also have our right of vision we need to do. Do we want to do that first? Do we want to maybe come over here and do the right of vision? Yeah, I feel like maybe that would be a good idea. Let's come back to town. We'll turn everything in. Uh, we'll come over here and do Dwarven Digging, and then we'll do our Rite of Vision quest as well. That will get us in position to head into Thunder Bluff, where we can turn in our Leather Gathering quest. And we could also uh, check the Weapon Master there in Thunder Bluff and see if we can learn any weapon skill that we don't already have. Hoping that we'll be able to learn one of the ranged weapon skills, whether bows or, or muskets, I really don't care which. Uh, it would be nice to acquire a ranged weapon so we can pull pull enemies out of groups when we're in kind of a tricky situation with uh, trying to avoid adds. News of your deed reached me moments ago. Already the beasts near the well drink from it eagerly. You've done a great thing for the land, and you have done a great thing for the Tauran people. To create the Thunderhorn Cleansing Totem, you must gather the claws of the predators from the Mulgar Plains, hunt the Prairie Stalkers for their Stalker Claws, and the Flatland Cougars for their Cougar Claws. Walk with the earth. Uh, that's another thing we're going to be doing in the northern part of Mulgar. Swoop hunting. There we go. I think we we have enough silver now. Let's go ahead and train uh, our hamstring. What brings you here? That's going to be incredibly useful. Let's go ahead and we'll get that out to our bar. Uh, we'll do that for now. F three. See how that feels. And there's level 9. 
All right. Yeah, let's head out this way. We'll look for cougars and prairie stalkers on the way, but we're going to head over to do the dwarven mining stuff, and then we'll come up here to finish our right of vision. I'm assuming the little diving board thing here has something to do with the Dark Moon Fair. Maybe they shoot somebody through a cannon and you have to aim your body at that is kind of my guess. Don't really know for sure. Well, that was a neat little path we took. So we don't need the prairie wolves, we need the prairie stalkers only. Yeah, the drop rate on these cougar claws is not very good. I think we're going to be fighting cougars for a long, long time. Possibly prairie stalkers too. I mean, their drop rate seems a little bit better, but not a whole lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely a better, definitely a better job rate. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we headed here? I need to head the other way, but I am going to grab this herb over here. Let's make our way up towards the mine and start working on this. We need to get tools from the dwarves back here. We can break them at the forge that's back here, or we can break them at a forge back in town, I think. This is where we're probably going to get our first opportunity to utilize hamstring to stop these guys from running away from us. Let's get that going. Yeah, there we go. That's <laughs> that's good. They are not going to get far with that on them. I don't want to rush in against two casters that look like healers because they're going to cross heal each other and that's going to be a huge pain. Okay, great, this is great. Yeah, <laughs> guys, we made a really, really bad mistake there. You can't just blindly charge the first staff wielder that you see around the corner. You have to actually look around and see what you're getting yourself into. Otherwise, you end up in this position. Luckily, they're slow, and uh, we seem to have gotten away with no problems. That could have gone anyway. They could have stunned us and just obliterated us. Uh, I think we got lucky there. Let's let's try not to do that again. Mm-hmm. Okay, these two are coming this way. Let's take this one by himself. Uh, yeah, that said lesser heal, but it looked like a pretty decently sized heal to me. I dislike it. Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? I don't have any interrupts up. That's the problem. I have to kill her quick. Yep, that's not, that's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Trying to find where their little anvils are so we can break these tools, but I don't think we've come across any yet. Okay, perfect. We'll be trying that again. 
We could have tried to throw down on the healer. I feel like they're just going to heal themselves. We don't really have a lot of tools. We have, uh, we have War Stomp as our only interrupt right now. Maybe we just try to avoid them. Can I, can I body pull here? There we go. Yeah, I think we have enough of the of the items. We just need to make our way to a forge where we can break them. I think we have to click on them to do that. But we have four. We need one more. All right, that's five. I think we're going to need to bust into this camp, though. That's kind of the only problem. This is not great. We're going to have to use a potion here. We're also going to have to catch the interrupt. Like, on time. Oh, cool. She didn't even get a chance. Did not even get a chance to heal. Uh, that's how I like to do it. We got lucky with that one. Uh, we also got lucky that uh, old boy behind us here did not pull and like just start healing everybody up. That would have been unfortunate. I think this is the station that we need. Should work for us. No healing. There we go, quest complete. Let's make our way out of here and uh, hopefully not get jumped by too many of these guys. And we're going to head north. We have to head up to the right of vision. Maybe we'll find some more stalkers on the way and whatnot. Uh, but I'm going to prioritize getting up to the right of vision and then taking us maybe to Thunder Bluff to check out some trainers. We need to visit the weapon trainer there to see what they have for us. And uh, I think we need to grab the flight point as well. Probably before next episode, I will have taken us uh, through the Barrens to get to Orgrimmar, and I'll have grabbed all the flight points on the way. And that's just going to make things a lot easier for us in the future if I already have all the flight points that we need. I'll probably grab Taraho, the Crossroads, and Orgrimmar. I don't think I'll run out to Ratchet until we actually are in the Barrens having to go to Ratchet for real. This must be the other place where we could have fought the Harpies. And down over yonder is the Dark Moon Fair. Yeah, I figured that. We don't have any items here that we need. To gain acceptance amongst the elders of Thunderbluff, you must next complete the Rite of Wisdom. Now that you have passed the Rite of Vision, the ancestral spirits of Red Rock will give you the blessing of our ancestors. Only those who have drunk from the water of seers can gain the blessing. Travel east to Thunderbluff, to Red Rocks, and seek out the ancestral spirits. May the eternal sun shine. All right. 
Hmm. Not exactly sure what that is referring to, but I, I guess it'll make sense eventually once we don't have any other quests to do. And it'll be the only thing left on our map that's tracking. I feel like there are herbs up here that you're not letting me get. There we go. Oh, here we go. They're, they must be talking about this all the way over here. They said Thunder Bluff. They, they must, I must have misread. It must have been east, far east of Thunder Bluff is uh, where we're actually going. could skin, that'd be a good idea. I think I'm going to head up into Thunder Bluff and turn in this leather quest, visit the weapon trainer, and uh, empty our bags out. Would probably be a good idea. Let's, let's do that. Alright, the rain here can't decide if it's going to rain or if it's going to stop. <laughs> Let's get some guidance here. Greetings. Oh, the weapon master is like this must be the most conveniently located weapon trainer in any city in the game. Yeah, I don't think there's another weapon trainer that is literally right at the front of the city. Uh, guns and staves. Oh, we don't have money for this. <laughs> oh, we are so terribly broke. And selling this stuff is not going to help us too much with that whole endeavor, is it? We need this, some of it at least. I am tempted to sell the herbs and stuff because, yeah, but I, I do want to wait and we'll get a stack and we'll see how much a stack sells for on the auction house. And then we'll decide if we're going to be selling the low-level stuff to vendors, or what exactly we want to do. Uh, that got us to 10. The thing is, like, I, I didn't keep that pellet gun. Yeah, it's gone from the buyback, too. So, I could train, I could train guns, but I can't have a gun right now. Let's train it, just to get it done. It's incredibly painful to have to spend that kind of silver. Uh, but yeah, it's done now, so. It's gonna be nine silver for every weapon skill we need, so for two-handed swords, two-handed axes, we're talking 20 silver there, just about. One-handed weapons is gonna be the same, we need to learn one-handed swords still. So overall, for the absolute bare minimum of what we need, we're talking like 28 silver. Uh, which is a lot of money at this level. Well met. Uh, nothing useful. Be careful. But it's worth the experience. Uh, we can then sell that stuff. And 
same thing here. Let's try to get a stack together and see how much a stack is going to sell for. I'm selling these. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's all we could do. Kind of tempted to hearth back at this point, but we could run over here and do our Rite of Wisdom. Maybe we need to go do that. Uh, is there another way down? Yeah, I think there's a back. Yeah, here we go. We can come over this way. We can come down off the back side of Thunder Bluff. Alright, let's have a little look around up here. There's the potential for picking up a quest item off of a named enemy. Uh, I don't see him. He runs this little loop sometime, but there's a couple of different places he can be, unfortunately. And there's like no guarantee that he's going to be here. Ghost Howl. Yeah, he's probably not up right now. Alright, well for now we're going to move on. Maybe we will run into him at some other point. Uh, I'm just thinking that he must be somewhere else right now. Let's go get this turned in and we'll, we'll pick up a Sacred Burial. Uh, here's uh, here's Arashe, Arashe, but we don't need him yet. Uh, we will need him eventually before too long here. Yeah, I kind of wish on the way we could have fought some of the wolves and cougars that we needed, but yeah, they're they're much further to the south. Hmm. Uh, let's go pick up the quest, because to fight our way back here, we're going to have to fight these bristlebacks, and there's a quest right down here that will give us a, a kill quest for them. So let's grab this first. Hey, the rain stopped. For how long? Who knows? Yep, kill eight bristleback interlopers. Go in 
Uh, they've kind of defiled the burial ground over here, and this guy is not very happy about it. We're going to help him clear them out. And we need to get back there anyway. Uh, these guys are level 10, though. Probably, I probably did things in a little bit of a weird order. Should have finished some of the lower level stuff first, I think. Uh, yep, that's that's awful. <laughs> that is not good. All right, I have to run from the other guy. We're not going to be able to fight two of these, being level ten and us being a warrior. Uh, it's not going to happen. So let's go in here. Let's make some more bandages. We are going to need them. The good thing is this is only eight. We only need eight. It's not it's not like the Venture Company quest where we have to get 14 workers and six supervisors. That's going to be a lot of fighting. Let's pull them back a little bit. I like to avoid this cougar, so I'm going to pull this guy over here. Yeah, I'm actually wondering if I can even do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight my way through all these guys. Yeah, we're not doing this right now. Uh, I don't want to die, and I don't want to be needlessly frustrated. It looks like we're going to have to take on two of them at a time. Uh, quite a few two pulls. I, I didn't see any way we'd really be pulling one at a time. So yeah, let's let's leave that for now. I, I think, yeah, I probably made a little bit of a miscalculation bringing us out here to begin with. I really should have just focused on getting the stuff done down here to the south first. So, sorry about that, guys. That's my mistake. Kind of thought we'd be okay to do it, but then seeing how close they're all stacked together and how many of them there are... We will come back out here a little bit later. Maybe when we're level 11 or 12 or 13. Uh, some of that stuff will be a little bit easier for us. Yeah, we need to be able to fight two of them at once. And right now, I'm not willing to try to do that. Arashe again, just following us. It's going to be, we'll have a much harder time finding him when we actually need him. Uh, but yeah, for now, he's happy just to kind of follow us around. Okay, supposedly we're getting back into the area where we can get some quest mobs. Uh, whether that is true or not, I really don't know. Here we go. Uh, the, yeah, we got wolves here that we need, but not the cougars.
Oh, we don't need you. You don't drop the item. So, so yeah, some of these cats, the Flatland Prowlers, they are not dropping the item we need. It's a little bit annoying because you have to really play close attention to their names. Otherwise, you're just attacking cats that look like cats, and it's, uh, it's not what you need. You don't need just cats that look like cats. You need a very specific type of cat that looks like a cat. Alright, that's 6 out of 6 for the Stalker Claws. Now we're only looking for Cougar Claws. And yeah, that's obviously going to be the harder part of the quest, isn't it? Seeing as how we only have one, I think that's fair to say. That is a Flatland Prowler. We don't need it. Let's come back this way. I don't want this Prairie Stalker. That's right, leave me alone. Let me loot in peace, please. Yeah, they just really don't like dropping the item. That's really all there is to it. Let's continue to the south and try to maybe work our way back to town here while we're about it.
Uh, we could come over here and get this peace bloom. That would be a great idea. Getting a weapon upgrade soon would be nice. We, we got the one weapon at like level three and uh, we haven't gotten anything since then that I really noticed. We don't exactly have money to be buying weapons. Well, there's five out of six. Uh, that's good news. We only need one more. It just spawns so many more wolves than it does cougars, for the most part. And there we go. That's uh, that's it for that quest. Let's keep working our way back to town. I feel like if we fight a couple enemies on the way back, we should be able to turn these two quests in and maybe hit level 10. That would be pretty amazing. This has probably been the longest I've played on one character in one day in a long time. I can't quite say it was one sitting because I did, I did get up and get some food and get some coffee at some point. Uh, but definitely the longest I've played a character in one day. But it's good. I like I like getting to level 10. You know, I feel like first episode's going to be incredibly long. None of the other episodes are going to be like this. Uh, we're looking at an hour and a half for the most part. This one's going to be maybe plus three hours plus, maybe. A long bow staff. Would actually probably be doing a lot more damage than what we're doing currently. <laughs> They're fast. Apparently the trick with the cougars is to look really close to the town. This is where we're at. There seem to be a lot right here if you're looking for them. We're going to come grab this peace bloom and then we're going to head back into town. We'll turn everything in and then we'll see exactly how much XP we still need to level. And if we're close, we'll just go grind it out really quick.
By the next time we go to Thunder Bluff, I'd like to have a stack of each of these to put on the auction house and see if they can sell. That'll let me know if I'm going to be selling stuff on the auction house at an early, early level or if we're just going to be... Oh, somebody did not loot. If we're just going to be vendoring. Thank you, this will calm the beast of Mulgor, and spirits willing it will teach the dwarves that hollowing the land is not the path to knowledge. Uh, we get an upgrade wrist piece, a few more armor. Let's equip that, and let's turn this one in over here and see if we can ding level 10. The winds guide you. Look at that, there we go. Thunderhorn Cleansing, use the Thunderhorn Cleansing Totem at the Thunderhorn Waterwell. Okay, yeah, that opened up a few more things. Let's come over here to our trainer. He has a quest for us, and uh, we've got to train level 10. If we have the money to do so. Veteran Uzik, speak to Uzik at Far Watch Post. He's a veteran of many battles and now instructs young warriors in the ways of combat. You will find him south of Far Watch Post, the Orc Garrison... On the border of the barons in Duratar. Farewell. Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's something we're going to do eventually. I might just nab that when I'm running around getting flay points. Hail. Um, if it has like a follow-up, I won't do it, but I'll just grab the quest. Uh, yeah, guys, these are great abilities. We need money. So the key is going to be to sell everything that we have right now, even if that means selling some of our supplies just to get what we need. Uh, we are most definitely going to do that. However, I am going to take a little bit of a break here. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Let me know what you think so far. Again, not all the episodes will be this long. If you're still watching, I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate you spending your time with me in Azeroth. If you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. That would help me out a lot. If you want to support what I do more directly, check out the member button on YouTube. I am planning to have some members only exclusive series. Once we get into the middle of April here, I'll be doing polls to determine what you guys want to see. We'll run polls throughout the playthrough to determine things like spec or where we're going to quest and stuff like that just to get you guys involved with that. Check it out if you're interested, or check out Patreon. Either way would be a great way to directly support what I do and help me keep doing it long into the future. Thank you, those that do. Everybody take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now. <laughs>